Uh, so first thing I wanted to ask you, I mean, obviously three um, consecutive wins against three really good opponents. You know, obviously Clemson was ranked. They've been in and out of ranking. They've received votes several times. Yeah. Um, the season hasn't gone the way that you would have liked, but how does it feel to have three great wins against three very good opponents? I think our ball club feels really good. Um, and I think that's the neat thing about a season is, you know, you play 56 in a regular season for a reason. They play 162 in the big leagues for a reason. Uh, it's not where you start, but how you can learn to grow as a team. And most importantly, let's, let's make sure we keep guys healthy and play our best baseball game. But we've been really happy with what we've seen in the last three games. In those last three games, um, we've had 18 runs against Clemson. Nine of them scored within the first three innings. Six in the first inning today. Um, so how have you got you guys motivated to get out to those hot starts um, that have been really key lately? You know, it's something we talk about, like not waiting to get punched in the mouth. Let's go ahead. And I think when we're playing here at home, it, you know, if we can put up a zero in the first inning defensively, our guys are ready to go. And, um, you know, it's a veteran lineup. It's seeing the ball very well right now, and they're complementing each other. Uh, whether it's coming up with the big two-out hits, whether it's moving runners over. Uh, the score six today with two outs in the first inning. That's a gut wrencher for that opposing dugout, I and mean, it kind of let us settle in and, and take advantage of it. Um, going back to those early innings, but on the pitching side of things, I mean, you got out of a bases loaded jam in the first, and I believe you had left. They left two guys on base in the second as well. Um, so, how important was that uh, for your team too? The first inning zero was huge. You know, uh, bases loaded, one out to get the ground ball to third uh, to play catch. You know, throw the ball home, play catch, throw the ball first, get the double play. Uh, you know. Pitch, pitching the contact and allowing your defense to smother, that was huge. And it just allowed our guys to breathe a little bit. On the flip side, you know, they could have busted it open right there and then we would have been chasing them. So you guys um, obviously caught, you know, them missing third base on the play. Now that would have tied the game up. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess my question would kind of be is, you know, the fundamentals of just making sure that you do the small stuff like that. Um, how important is that, you know, for preaching it for your team and also making sure your opponent follows that as well? well? Two things. I think you preach it for your team from a fundamental. Could we be fundamentally sound, running the bases, you know, playing catch, those kind of things. Attacking hitters, making sure we're not giving up free passes. But I thought it was a great job by our dugout, too, staying in the game and, and as they saw the play and it was an awkward situation and, and to see him miss it and, you know our replay system here is phenomenal uh, there's no doubt he missed it <laughs> uh last question i mean does it feel good obviously winning the backyard brawl um and taking a game from them there's no yeah anytime you compete against west virginia it's pit west virginia uh, that's what our guys come here for to compete and, and as you said compete against quality opponents ranked opponents um but to get that one nothing you know, lead over them you know, we have still have two more opportunities. We go to their place, which is a very tough place to play, and we'll be excited to play in PNC Park as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's it.